Neil, your, your thoughts on, on what has been a tough game this afternoon at Easter Road? Yeah, it was. Um, look, we got a huge slice of luck with the goal. We, we started off a little bit, I wouldn't say sluggishly, but I wanted to start a little bit sharper. Uh, they got the break with the goal, and then after that, it was just total domination from us. I thought we were a little bit flat, some of them in the final third today. You know, considering we had, you know, the majority of the game, well, we had the majority of the ball. And then the subs coming on gave us that little spark, and we missed some really good chances at the end. And on top of that, Paul, we didn't have one penalty claim, we had two clear penalty claims that, you know, I, I cannot believe the referees missed at least, you know, missed both of them. He should have at least, the one on Barber is a stonewall penalty, Horgan's come in late after he's crossed it, and Ryan's the same, exact same, exact same position. What the linesman's doing on that side, I don't know. Anyway, it's not the reason, well, it's one of the reasons why we, we drop points today, but... Just our finishing, you know, we had good chances at the end and we, we lacked that little bit of composure at the end. But I'm not going to whip the boys for that performance because I thought we played very well. It's a real frustration, you know, particularly when you're looking along that touchline. You can see the, the instant, as you say, the referee sees it, the linesman, not once but, but twice, it's almost the same instant. I don't get it because he's looking right at it, he's 15 yards away, we're here, you know, and you know when a foul's a foul. And you know that uh, Horgan's late and Stevenson's late. You know, after the ball's gone, and they're, they're both penalties. Anyway, I'm delighted with the start of the season. We're still unbeaten. It's a tough place to come sometimes. We can play better, we know that. But like I say, I'm not going to criticise the players for that performance. And as you say, the longer the game was on, it was almost like we were laying siege to the Hibs goal and just needed that wee break in front of goal. Yeah, like I say, you know, just in the final third, we worked the ball in the good positions, our finishing, our final ball, you know, and Hibs defended resolutely at times. But you got you got to take the luck element out of it. You know, when you're on top and you know put the game to bed, and we just you know fell short on that today. And again, when you're looking at the game, apart from that fluky chance, I mean, at one point we had five shots in target, and we were trailing by goal to nil, and Hibs having to have a shot in target, we limited them to very few chances. Yeah, we dominated the game, and like I said, I'm not going to point. You know, I'm not disappointed with the performance, just the result. And on you know on another day, that old cliche, we would have won the game, but we we could and should have won today. Obviously, start of a, a busy week now onwards to match day two in the Europa League. Yeah, big game, big European night. Looking forward to it. I hope the supporters are as well, and hope they get right behind the team because they're going to be really important for us. You know, it's, we need to restart. You know, getting those European nights, you know, really up to full decibel level. So there's a connection, and it has been between the players and the supporters this season. I'm really, you know, looking forward to you know making the fans making Celtic Park a. A really loud, intimidating place to come. That's great. Thanks very much. Cheers, Paul. Thanks.